Hello, I'm Pastor Wayne Sheeler of Grace Evangelical Lutheran Church here in Royersford, Pennsylvania. I'm honored to spend this time with you. Today we read from Joshua, the third chapter. Joshua said, By this you shall know that among you is the living God, who without fail will drive out the inhabitants before you. The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth is going to pass before you into the Jordan. So now select 12 men from the tribes of Israel, one from each tribe. When the soles of the feet of the priests who bear the Ark of the Covenant, the Lord of all the earth, come to rest in the waters of the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan flowing from above shall be cut off. They shall stand in a single heap. Now the Jordan overflows all its banks throughout this time of harvest, so when those who bore the ark have come to the Jordan and the feet of the priests bearing the ark have dipped into the edge of the water, the waters flowing above stood still, rising up in a single heap. The people crossed over opposite Jericho. While all Israel was crossing over on dry ground, the priests who bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firmly on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan until the entire nation finished crossing over. You may recall parallels in scripture. The exodus out of Egypt. After all those terrible plagues in Egypt, Israel departs from Pharaoh and heads off. And a pillar of cloud leads them through the area to the Red Sea and then through the Red Sea on dry ground. <clears throat> on the other side, after the, after the sea has collapsed on the Egyptians and they are free in the wilderness, not long after they've escaped, God handed them, handed down to them, the Ten Commandments. These commandments were placed in the Ark of the Covenant that could go among the people and lead them on their journey in the wilderness. This ark, now a visible representation of the presence of God, of God's almighty power, goes before Israel to all the places it goes. It precedes Joshua and the Israelites through the wilderness and then to the swollen banks of the Jordan River and across it on dry ground. I recall these stories from scripture in order to proclaim to you this. God the Almighty, whether experienced as a pillar of cloud or the Ark of the Covenant or the Holy Spirit, is able this day to hold back in a heap whatever obstructions, forces, chaos, doubt, and even the presence of Satan that may show up in your lives, is able this day to handle whatever you may be facing, is able this day to make a path for you to go forward. This God shows up multiple times in scripture, providing a way for God's people to continue, even when we don't understand and cannot see how. We can trust that our God is always present, always in the midst of whatever it is that we are facing, always willing to journey with us through anything. Thanks be to God. We pray together. Beloved, we are God's own people, holy, washed, renewed. God continues to bless us and keep us, to shower us with mercy, to fill us with courage, and to give us peace. Amen. May your day be filled with joy and the knowledge of the presence of this almighty God.